hard, but so you're, you're pulling away from the bigger issue, and that just furthers their narrative, whether or not it really happened, and that, that's where we have this whole microscopic, you know, 24-hour news system that just keeps going and going, um, picking out stories and throwing out, out, out the ones that don't fit the narrative. That's right. But you're thank you for the call, Caleb. But you're you're right, Caleb. And that you know, that's what the Bernie Sanders thing plays into, right? Everyone's ripping you off. Wall Street's ripping you off. The banks are ripping you off. You shouldn't have to pay for college. You shouldn't have to pay your loans back. It it does start to become everybody they keep being told that they're a that they're a victim. Let's go to line one. Judy is listening on K U G N in Oregon. Judy, this is John DePietro and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Judy. Hello. Hi, Judy. How are, how are you guys doing? Very well, Judy. Thank you for calling the Savage Nation. Go right ahead. Okay. The reason why I think that uh, she is losing uh, the the votes of um, the world is because everybody does not want four more years of Obama. And she has vowed to uh, continue on, to carry on where he left off. And I think that's why she is losing votes left and right. You know, I thank you for the call, Judy. I, I think it, it's interesting that, you know, here's Judy listening in Oregon to, to pick that out. And, I, I, Judy, I think you're exactly right. I mean, look look at Hillary. The, the campaign is a mess. They feel she doesn't have a message. They're about to do a complete overhaul. She got pummeled in, in New Hampshire. And it's only going to get worse, moving on to Nevada and South Carolina. And, you know, what they, they, they'll they show clips and montages, if you've, you've watched it, where she continually throws out the name of President Obama and tries to, you know, carry this attitude that it's almost going to be a third term. And without ever stopping, maybe people don't. I mean, if you look at the anger of people voting for Bernie Sanders, and certainly the anger of those that you know, would support a Trump. I mean, pe- people are angry. People don't want a third term of President Obama. And, and Judy, you picked that out, and yet the, the Clinton campaign, their whole strategy seems to be that he's still very popular with Democrats. He's still very popular, obviously, with, with people of color. But it, it was Trump that did great with independence. It was Trump that did tremendous in New Hampshire and got a third of the vote. Um, it, you know, that that's because people are angry and people certainly don't want a third term. Line five, Ron is listening on WZUS in Illinois. Ron, this is John DePietro and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Ron. Good afternoon, John. I'll make this as brief as possible. Um, I'm a Latino veteran and quite frankly, I'm honestly frustrated and downright disappointed in what this administration has done to our country. It's not been so much the, the lack of respect that there's been in this country for veterans, the fact that we have to wait uh, countless numbers of years to get see any kind of benefits or even medical treatment um, when a young girl can simply get pregnant and get a link card, a WIC, a WIC card, and subsidized housing. Um, additionally, I grew up in a household where my mom, for a small period of time, was a single mother, um, did get some public benefits and such, and was still working two jobs and always instilled in us a work ethic. However... This generation and everyone um, presently, well, most of the people presently on the welfare system don't have any degree of worth ethic. I mean, honestly, there's people I've met coming from Cuba and from even Puerto Rico uh, when I lived in Florida who the first thing they do as soon as they get here is ask for an SSI or a link card. You know, it's it, it, Ron, it, look, look at what happened with, and you're making a very, very good point, Ron, and that is... You know, and it's so simple. Folks, look look at what happened with record stores when people, you know, Tower Records or, or whoever, when, when people discovered online they could download download music for free. Who, people stopped paying for music when they could get it for free. And it it's funny that you mentioned the entitlements because look, look at the danger you walk into. When people start to get things for free, good, good luck trying to ever get them to pay for something again. And if... If you continue to give people, whether it be illegals or millennials or whoever, if you continue to give them all these entitlements and things for free and keep telling them that they're victims, I I, I mean, good luck trying to ever get them to to actually, as you mentioned, your mom and a hard day's work and an honest day's work. 
they, they're going to be left behind. I mean, I think one thing we could all agree on, it, no matter what Republican gets in, whether it's a, whether it becomes Donald Trump, who is leading, who some people now are saying they think it's inevitable, or whether it's a Ted, Senator Cruz, or, you know, just, Governor Kasich helped himself in New Hampshire, needs to do well in South Carolina, but a lot, uh, large segments of, of the population in this country are in for a, a rude awakening when people start to tell them that, you know, you have to earn things. Nothing's going to be handed to you. You have to go out and do that. Let's go to line two. Stuart is listening on KSFO in San Francisco. Stuart, this is John DePietro, and you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Stuart. Hi, John. Uh, I don't think President Obama wants Hillary to be president. I don't believe all that nonsense that I'm hearing, you know, from his spokespeople. Uh, I think he really dislikes her. And I think it goes all the way back to the primary season in 2008, when uh, around May, somebody asked Hillary uh, why she was still in the race when it was almost mathematically impossible for her to get enough delegates to win. And her response was something along, I know this is not word for word, but it was something along the lines of, oh, you never know. Remember what happened to Bobby Kennedy in 1968, which was, uh, you know, kind of a scary thing yes here i don't i don't think he i think he truly i i think he hates her and uh, i think there's been <laughs> hints of that over the past few years this whole nonsense of her talking about how she's just going to continue on with his legacy and make it even better i think that's disingenuous on her part as well so everything you're hearing from just about everybody is uh is just made up for their own purposes be it Hillary or the president. You have to analyze these things and figure out what's really going on. I, I never believe anything that any of them say. Well, it's funny you say, thank you for the call, Stuart. I mean, they did have the debate where then I think they were asked one of those, you know, this it's kind of a stupid question, but like, can you say something nice about the other person or or something like that? And I, I think the president said, well, Hillary, she's likable enough or something right right around there. You know, when you watch the Clinton campaign this past weekend, if you saw any of the footage of them campaigning in New Hampshire before the New Hampshire primary, it, it does, doesn't it? It just seems so tired. It seems like, ah, oh, these people again. There's Bill out there. And then they drag, you know, then there's poor Chelsea out there. And they're trying to, you know, here she is. She's a mother now. She made us a grandmother. And then Hillary comes, you know, walking onto the stage and... And then, you know, can you imagine then you have Madeleine Albright out there and it just seems old and tired. That is not what people are looking for. And that's why, say what you want about, as I said, Bernie Sanders. And again, I I disagree with 99% of everything he says. And I, I could not imagine voting for him. But the guy is authentic. And I think that's what's drawing people in. That's what's drawing young people in. This was supposed to be, I mean, Hillary, they thought they had it locked up. The glass ceiling and the first female president. And there's a special place in hell. And she really went after Bernie Sanders in that last debate and the artful smear. And, oh, it takes me longer to go to the bathroom and coming back after the break. And, oh, the whole thing. And it's going Nowhere. South Carolina is in jeopardy. Nevada is is in trouble. The Clinton campaign is about to go from from bad to catastrophe as far as poll numbers. He is out raising her money wise. He mentioned that when he had the announcement in New Hampshire that, you know, all right, here's my go to BernieSanders.com, donate what you can. Boom. That was the end of it. Instead, she's going to New York to try to raise money. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You're listening to the Savage Nation. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. The doctor will be back tomorrow. You're invited to join the program by calling 1-855-400-SAVAGE. As always, visit our website, michaelsavage.com let's go out to your calls line 9 Joe is listing on WFTL in Florida Joe you're up on the Savage Nation hello 
Thank you for the opportunity. You know, I'd like to express one thing. I think President Obama is trying to, let's say, regain some popularity because I think he's afraid the market is going to crash and he'll get blamed for it. Uh, the fact that he's trying to make statements about how we need to come together when he is the gentleman that drove the stake between the parties. He has taken every opportunity to insult Republicans on every basis, whether it be through the State of the Union's address, whether it be through political campaigns. You know, I, I think this gentleman here lives in la-la land, and I think history will put him down as the buffoon that he is. Uh, people will refuse to recognize his mistakes on the liberal side of the agenda, you know, but history itself won't be so kind to him. Well, you know, it's funny, Joe. I, I, I think when we get a new president, and ideally it's the right one, and then you can start to see a change and start to see the way that we're we're treated internationally and just the, the mood of the country to improve, uh, the attitude of people to improve, the nation to improve. I think that that's when people will really start to look back and look at what a, a turbulent time uh, the Obama years were. Line five is Tanner listing on WVLK in Kentucky. Tanner, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about how, uh, even though after the New Hampshire uh, results came out and Sanders led by uh, 10 points over Hillary, uh, that it was very concerning that they both walked away with the same number of delegates from that, or were supposedly the same number of delegates, because of those super delegates that were put in the system. Uh, this idea that Hillary had already uh, kind of wormed her way into these superdelegates and, and gotten their votes uh, kind of cushions low. So I'm, I'm concerned, I'm very concerned that even though her poll numbers may be falling, her popularity may be declining because of what she said in reference to President Obama, uh, that, that she may even still uh, gain the, the nomination or just gain more power uh, because of the delegate system that she seems to have worked out for herself. I know, but you know what, Tanner? You watch. Watch over the next few weeks what's going to happen to the Clinton campaign. They're really in for a real shakeup. You've been listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. Again, he will be back tomorrow. Visit our website, michaelsavage.com. In the meantime, keep listening to the Savage Nation. Savage.